Hi, I'm Jodie Street. I'm a tutor here at Point Blank Online. I produce for the likes of Beyonce and Rizzle Kicks. You're watching Production Analysis. So I'm going to be taking a closer look at Plan B's Ill Manners. Quite an aggressive track in terms of the sample and the drums, also the lyrics, the lyrical content of this track, quite controversial. So we're going to be breaking it down into different sections, looking at the sample, layering the sample up maybe with some other textures, and also looking at the swing and the quantize of the drums and the textures used to layer those drums up. So what I've got here is the first two bars of the verse of Ill Manners and what I'm going to try and do is extract the groove from this loop so that I can create my own drum loop uh, with my own drum sounds and start to build a track around that. Um, I don't want to try and copy the track itself, it's just a case of trying to get an idea flowing from the start um, and using Ill Manners as an inspiration really. So to start with we're going to be looking at the groove of the beat and first off I need to identify each individual drum hit. So you can see here we've got the transient markers all placed in the sample editor. Okay, and What I want to do is just convert that into a quantized value. So what we need to do there is, is just highlight the region and then go up to our quantize and select make groove template. Okay, So this is going to basically make a template of all those individual hits in terms of the timing of them so that we can apply that to any new region or any audio with the flex mode on. So if we just say make groove template, okay, that's that, that enables us to quantize our, our beats. So, um, right. but what I've done is I've just listened out for those individual hits and, and reprogrammed those sounds so that you can hear them um, layered up. And what I want to do now is quantize those so that they, they start at exactly the same point on as, as they do on this uh, Ill Manners beat. Um, so what I've done is quantized it for the moment at 1 16th and you can see all these notes are happening right on the grid values and what I'm going to do now is just just quantize it using that groove template that we've created so you just come down to the quantize value and just select it okay so there you see all the notes have shifted and you can see some of them are happening a little bit earlier some of them are happening a little bit later it's very subtle with this with this break in fact and and it's not it's not too swung so you're not going to hear the difference too much and I'm going to apply that to all my other notes um, that I've layered up and also to this drum break which is actually an audio file so you see the flex um, flex mode markers, the transient markers, you'll see them move when I quantize as well. Okay, You see them move in the arrange page. Right so now we've got our, our sort of our main aspects quantized and layered up let's just have a listen and try and identify the the different textures that I've created on that drum loop. So we've got this this drum break, the DD drum break here. Okay, so I've I've not applied too much effects to this this drum break because I wanted to try and keep that raw hip hop feel to the track. Um, it could even be a little bit louder in the mix maybe, but what I've done is is I've applied the direction mixer so that it's monoed the, the, drums, the drum break a little bit because it was a little bit too wide as a stereo image, so it was sticking out a bit. I wanted to layer it up with some other drum sounds and make it sound as one, and to do that um, I needed to apply this direction mixer. If you listen to the, the break without it and with it, so this is without. And that's with the direction mixer on, so it suddenly becomes a lot narrower, meaning that when I layer some of the other drums that are that are very mono as well over the top, they're not going to sound too separate. It's going to try and sound as as one sort of beat together. So we've also got um, a big beat kit, which has got uh, a big kick in it, a nice big round kick, and um, I've also got on the ultra beat. It's an ultra beat multi output. I've got. Uh, a separate snare which I've applied a lot more reverb and a bit of distortion as well so that sort of acts as like the 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 snare that the predominant snare on the on the loop um, so let's just listen to those two on their own as well I've also layered up a snare sound from the modern pop kit 
on the ultra beat along with the hi-hat pattern that was in the original ill manners break so with that and the big beat kit and the sampled drums we create this mix of hi-fi sound and lo-fi sound so let's just listen to the modern pop kit on its own it's only the snare drum I've layered up so let's just listen to all those drums again together I've also got a tambourine in there which I've sort of pitch shifted and amped to get that sort of lo-fi sound so let's listen to all of those together So that's how to create a groove template from a loop. There are also another couple of methods that I show within the Point Blank Online Logic Hip Hop course. Moving on to the sample that Plan B used in Ill Manners, it's a big chunk of a sample so I've tried to emulate that in this track as well. So I've got a sample, it's, it's quite orchestral, there are some strings in it. I've also used some different techniques to try and make it sound a little bit more distinctive. What, what I've done at first off is I've used the channel EQ and I've used it to sort of filter off some of the sounds using the automation. So if we look at the automation on the track and just listen to the sample, I'll play you it without the EQ first. So. Okay, so we've got that sample. And now let's stick the EQ in. So I wanted to boost a lot of the high. Um, so I've put that sort of high boost on it. It's probably a little bit drastic in fact. I'm going to bring that down. But you can see what the high cut is doing here. It's actually making it sound like a filter. And also the low cut is just cutting out the bass note for the second, for the second note here, for this uh, second bar. So if we put that bass, take that bass cut out, you can hear that second note. And I'll also take out the high cut so you can hear the difference. Okay, you're getting that sweeping effect. It's a really nice effect and that with the direction mixer, the direction mixer just again monoing the sound a little bit more than the original. Um, so it's quite wide here, just bringing it in a little bit so that if I layer some sounds over the top it's not going to sound too separate, it's going to sound more like one um, texture, one sort of glued sound together. Okay, we've also got a space designer, just giving it a bit more space in the mix, a bit more atmosphere. It's quite a floaty sort of sample in itself, so I wanted to enhance that, you know, bring out what the character of the sound itself is. Um, and this, this is a warped effect on the space designer um, in the moving spaces fading from view and I've also brought down the length of it and brought some of the high end down on the EQ of the space designer okay so once I got that sample I wanted to layer it up and all I did was use the the orchestra violin section within EXS and just replayed the sample just the high notes of the sample I might go on to elaborate the string part a little bit more, maybe add some cellos, bring out the depth of the strings like in the sample, um, but for the moment I just played over the top um, the high part um, just to enhance that. Okay, you can see I've, I've just boosted a little bit of the low and, and I've also um, sent quite a lot of it to the, the same reverb that we've got with the drums as well just so that it sits within the sample so it doesn't sound too out of place so this is with the sample and let's listen with the track okay so further on down the track we can also see that I've added a Winston's Amen Brother break which is kind of what Plan B did as well just as the sample switches up I've also used a, a bounce in place with a fade slowdown to make that vinyl stop effect.
At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work, so basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.